Hi, my name is Rob. I'm the developer of GraphPad. And today I'm going to demonstrate the Bluetooth integration between the Leica Disto D2 laser tape measure and GraphPad. And in addition to integrating um, the Leica with GraphPad and allowing it to pair, I've also modified a lot of the drawing algorithms to really take advantage of having a laser tape measure. And so I'm just going to demonstrate all those features and here's how that works. So to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to pair the two. And now if we go to the settings panel, we'll notice there's a Bluetooth button. If we press that button and the Leica is on, we'll notice that it actually reads the Leica. And if we select it, uh, once it pairs, it'll display as the object next to the Bluetooth um, button. And that's how the two items are going to be paired. Now, to take advantage of this, um, I've modified the drawing, so we're going to start with creating new lines. So if we um, create a new line or go to the new line form and take the Leica and actually take a measurement, so I'm just going to take a measurement over here, we'll notice that the measurement on the Leica is actually displayed as a line length. At this point, all we have to do is hit the new line button and it'll create that line. If we put a dimension on it, we'll see it's the same dimension that's on the laser tape measure. Now we can go around our perimeter, and so if we select another point and we take another measurement, I'll take a longer measurement this time, and we go, sorry, to new line, we'll notice that it automatically picks up the measurement, and if I pick a direction and hit new line, we've got now the beginning of our perimeter. Now that basically shows how we can actually uh, create new lines. We can also modify a line. So for example, if I take this line here and I take a longer measurement, we'll notice that it automatically adjusts that, that line. So if we put the dimension back on there, we'll see that it's been, excuse me, um, modified. So that really shows the creation and modification of lines. The second thing that I'd like to demonstrate is how I can translate objects. And so in this case, I'm gonna to go to my uh, objects a library, and I've created basically an example of a uh, air handler, and I'm going to put it in the start location that I want to translate from. At this point, I can actually use the Leica uh, laser tape measure to measure a couple of distances. If I go to the translate, we'll see that the new distance has been copied over, and now if I say I want to translate it to the right, I would just say offset. It's now been offset. It, um, and to the right, the proper dimension, and now if I take a dimension for the distance down that I want to do, um, I would just say the direction I want to offset it. We'll see the dimension is copied over, and it offset again. And at this point, if I took dimensions and we said point to line, we'll see this is the vertical um, dimension that we offset. And then from this point to this line, this is a horizontal dimension. So that shows how we can basically offset any objects and actually really uh, will help us lay out where certain objects are within our room or our crawl space or whatever we're trying to document. Now the second thing I'd like to demonstrate um, is working with arcs. And so if we drop an arc in there, we'll notice that it's the same as the, di the, the, the disto. Now I can go ahead and modify this. And so for example, I want to put it in, excuse me, as five feet. Okay, and I'll put in a couple more arcs. Oops, excuse me, that was supposed to be, let's do this again. All right, so not line here. And we'll put in an arc and a circle. Okay, now I can modify, for example, if I had uh, several arcs around the circumference, what I can do is I can use my points mode. I can select all of those arcs, go into arcs mode, and now if I use the disto and I make a modification, we'll notice that it changes all the arcs at one, one time. The last feature I'd like to demonstrate is really going to only be available in the configurable version of GraphPad, and that's if we create forms. Now we can actually have a standard form that we actually pull up, excuse me, um, in our list of forms, and again, um, I can create that for you or someone, or you can create them yourself, but um, you can also create these small forms, which I've got here, for window measurements. Let me clear out this page real quick. Ah. So say, for example, I want to take these measurements 
I can zoom in on the form and it shows the measurements I need to capture. And now if I go into the text and I make a change or I take a measurement with the, the Leica, we'll notice that the Leica measurement shows up in the form. And I can go through and capture all the measurements in this fashion. Very quickly documenting the feature that I need to, the, the information I need to capture. So this is really good for, for example, standardized um, objects which have uh, different measurements that have to be captured, um, but the measurements will be different based on the site. A great example of that is doors and windows, uh, if you're, for example, doing shades. The other example would be, for example, ductwork. If you need to have certain angle bends, you know that it's going to be a certain type of duct. Um, you can have that as a standard library object, and then using the distal, you can capture the actual measurements and, and put those in very quickly. And that's my presentation. Um, this is the Leica Dista D2 integration. This will be available in GraphPad, um, the configurable version of GraphPad in the next release, and subsequent versions uh, at some later date. And that's my presentation. Thank you very much.